So I've done a bit of tidying up the other end and as my good end is relatively tidy, certainly very tidy for me and I'm a bit fed up with the uh, smoke damaged end I thought I'd have a play with my laser printer and light burn. So I'm going to make myself a phone case hopefully. I've uh, done the design in light burn um, I've made a couple of paper templates of the inside and the outside they all seem to line up okay I'll probably cut these little bits right out when I do it so now I've just got to cut a bit of leather stick it on a laser printer and cut it out I'm certainly not going to go into the ins and outs of light burn there's plenty of uh, tutorials and that on YouTube which is where I've learned everything I know about using it so if you are using it and you do need to find anything out about it there are just some fantastic tutorials on YouTube I don't know how well this is going to come out on the uh, camera but I've just flipped that image because I want to do the outside of the case and the other way around it was on the inside so I'm only going to be cutting the blue stuff see if you look over here you've got all the different things so I'll be switching all the other ones off except the blue because they're going to be for the inside one it's exactly the same but you can decide what you are and aren't cutting so I've flipped it I'm just going to cut the blue line and that will be the outside of the phone case at the moment it's cutting out the stitch holes Cutting out the other side, the inside of the uh, what's going to be the uh, phone case. It's just about to finish now. Not quite sure how many times that's gone round, but it's pretty much cut out, so I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Nice when they come off like this. Everything just falls out and they're done. Here's the two bits. Bit pretty much perfect, but I wouldn't expect them not to because they're sort of cut from the same pattern. <clears throat> so I just now need the uh, make some little bits on the back here just so when a card's in there they got somewhere to stop so I've got to make some little squares just to go here, here, here and here so that the card this one would be alright but these was going in they could go right down the bottom so I'll just cut them out of some very thin stuff I'll just cut this strip I've just got to glue these on here Yeah. 
these little grid lines on these cutting mats are very handy for figuring out where you're going to cut something so they just glue in just round the edges and then the card will go in there and it won't go right right out <coughs> I'll just cut the other two and glue them on Sand the edges off where they're going to be glued just so that they taper to almost nothing so they don't catch on anything when you try and get anything in and out. Now I've stuck the bits on the back so I'll get a card, cut the cards so now the cards are just going you can get, you can get three cards in that. So that fits over that, that does that. <clears throat> so next thing, well, well the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do a bit of experimenting because I want to put this washer, sink it into there for a magnetic catch when I put the uh, little tab on there. So I want to sink that in as far as I can. But I'm going to have to experiment with some burning on me laser before I do that on another bit of leather so I've got this bit of the off cut what that came out of so I'm going to do some experiments with burning this so I can sink this washer into into the lever so that the magnet magnet on the other end will work so there's my experiments not enough not enough too much just about right there's a little bit of crinkling on this side I don't know if the camera will probably pick it up but I think I can live with that and there is the washer in there it's not perfectly flush with it but um, pretty close so I'm going to glue that in put a weight on it overnight <coughs> and carry on with the rest tomorrow so overnight I dyed that red as you can see probably I've got the um, strap for closing it cutting now at the moment um, and now I just want to mark some grooves off of here where and cut some grooves into this lever so that it will fold easier. I've glued the washer in, I don't know where I
they're about right. Right, I'm going to sort the strap out. Uh, this is the bit that's going to be the clasp. Gone a bit far through on that, but I can live with that. I'm just going to take a little bit off the edge. I'll put the magnet in it, put a bit of backing on it, glue it, sew it, and it'll be ready to go into the case. Bit of a sharpen up. Yep, I'll sew that up and it's ready to go together. Uh, so that's the uh, strap bit done. I'm just going to do a bit of work on the edge. Then it's ready to glue the inside to the outside and sew it up.
I'll do it with that. I'll leave that for a bit to go off. So I'm going to put my name on it before I um, start stitching it up. Put the, put the lining in and stitch it up. Et voilà. Now time to stick the inside in. I've separated the um, the two halves for the insides. So this right hand one is going to be pretty much all glued on. I'm going to take it right down to there to glue and then obviously around the edges where the stitching's going um, and just I'll be able to slide another card or something in that bit perhaps. But the actual phone case is going to glue to this when it's done. So I want as much of that glued in there as possible. Um, and this one obviously just glues around the edge where the stitching line is. I just got to be careful to try and line it up decently. The holes appear to be matching up on that. Right, I'll stick the other side on. Them all seem to line up all right. All right. I'll leave that to go off a bit, and then I'll be stitching it. Just ready me needles. Start sewing. Sure, I've said this before, but I find this bit of making something out of leather, the actual sewing, a really, really, relaxing,
and pleasant job. I never thought I would like sewing, but I do. Well that's all the sewing done, that's with it with the phone in it, the uh, phone holder bit's not glued in there yet. I'm going to clean up the edges, round them off a bit, polish them and then give these inside some neats for oil and then glue the phone case into here. I don't think I'll neats for oil, that'll just glue that, but I'll neats for oil this side. And do the edges. So that's it. <clears throat> that's the case older thing glued in there. Magnet could do with being a bit stronger. But other than that, that's it. That's my phone case made. Could have done with making it a tiny little bit bigger. All seemed to be alright on the um, cardboard one I've done, but that's it. Oh well, might have stopped me breaking the phone. So here it is after I've been using it for a couple of days and now it all shuts perfectly all right. It's, um, it wasn't too small, it's stretched open a bit and it's it's all working fine now. So you've got think your cards, I've only got one in there. You've got the slot behind the cards for your money. That all fits in there nice. And it shuts up pretty perfectly. So all in all, the job's a good one. I could have probably bought one on eBay for a tenner, but where's the fun in that? See you in the next one. Bye for now.